Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with another Sudoku problem, and this one is a little bit different. Uh, this is an idea I've been playing around with for a while, and I sat down with Virtual and asked for some help on making this one work. So the goal on this one is, uh, is not the same as with the previous ones. The goal isn't to place digits in known cells. The goal in this one is to place all of a particular digit. So in this particular one, it's to place all of the fours in the grid. So we have um, killer cages in this where the digits must sum to the top left number in the top left corner of the cage if given. There are no given digits. Um, digits may not repeat within cages, however, and that's what's important for this one. So um, there will be a link to the problem below. Um, you should uh, feel free to give that one a go. Um, and uh, I will be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so yeah, I always wanted to play around with different sorts of um, Sudoku problems, and um, and this was one of the ideas that I tried to make work at the very beginning, and I couldn't, but Virtual was able to help me um, do this. So, um, the goal being, of course, place all of the fours. Now, what we want to do is start with this four, because it's the only one we've got, and let's look at where the four can go in box two. So, in box two, it cannot go in the same cage, and it cannot go in the same row. So, the four must go in one of these two cells, which, of course, means that in row two, four can't go in any of those, and it can't go in those two cells because that's in the same cage as this four. So this becomes a four. Now that knocks four out of all of these cells because it's the same cage and that cell because it's the same column. So four now must go in one of those two cells. This now knocks four out of all of those cells and out of those two because it's in the same row. So this becomes a four, which knocks the four out of there and puts a four into here. Now, this four knocks four out of those two cells, and both of those four knocks fours out of all of those cells. But this is a nine cell cage, so it must contain a four, so the four must go here. Now, um, the next thing we've got is we need to put a four into one of these two cells for row five. And we could have done this before we did this deduction. All of these, a lot of these deductions don't have to be done in order. But, this is also a nine cell cage and we can't put a four in any of those. We can't put a four there and we can't put a four there, but we must put a four in that cage. So that becomes a four. Um, this four, of course, took, takes the four out of there and puts the four into there. And that gets a seven of the fours. The last fours have to be put into those two cells or those two cells. But if we were to put a four here, that would knock a four out of both of those because then if we were to put a four here, there would be nowhere to put a four in this cage with, uh, into this box without repeating a four in the cage. So this can't be the four. This is the four. This is not the four. This is the four. And that is the solution to to this particular problem where you are trying to figure out where you can put all of the fours into the grid. Um, I really like this one. Um, I'm hoping that I will see more people come up with things other than just solve digits. Um, let's see how we go. So I hope you enjoyed this one yourself. Um, I hope you're enjoying the series and check out the playlist, of course, where I'm publishing all of these. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.